Hello all. Things are happening all over the, the world that we've never seen before or have seen but not on this scale. Aren't we so lucky to be the generation that goes through this, this time frame? Somebody had to go through it. Somebody had to go through the, great de the world Great Depression in the 1929s through the 1930s. And that's where we're going to go tonight, tonight. That's where we're going to go in this video, is let's do some comparisons. Let's go find out what is over on the board. Sharpest drop on record. Consumer spending down 7.5% in March in the U.S. Sharpest monthly drop going back to 1959 here in the U.S. In the U.S., personal incomes down by 2% in March. Personal wages and salaries are down by 3.1% in March. 8.7 million jobs lost every 10 days here in the U.S. Jobless rate in April stands at 16% but we know it's a lot worse than that now. U.S. economy is expected to shrink by 20 to 30 percent. In the U.S., the Great Depression, GDP fell by 27 percent and returned to normal in 1940 or 1941. The U.S. Great Depression went from 1920 to 1938 and like I said earlier it didn't return to normal till 1941. Let's look at this chart of the unemployment rate since 1929. As you can see we're nowhere near the Great Depression but if things keep going the way they are it won't be long before it looks just like the Great Depression. But that's not all. U.S. economy growth from 2008 to 2020. As you can clearly see during the last Bush administration here in the U.S., he himself crashed the economy. Then Obama came and tried to fix the economy, as you can see in the graph clearly. Then Trump came, on, came in and crashed the Obama economy, as you can clearly see. Now the orange man is clearly going to find some other person or country to put the blame on. In his world, the buck never stops at him. It always is deflected off to somebody else, like China, Russia, or some, some country or place that didn't let him put golf courses in and resorts and let him take all the profits. Well, the people pay for it. But it's quite clear that the Obama era saw a huge comeback from the Bush crash. Then come Trump and he sli he's sliding down the hill of Obama's economy until he decided not to do anything about the COVID crisis here in the U.S. and just let the states fight it out with each other while FEMA was stealing equipment that was being ordered to hospitals and other essential places. So as we can see the Trump era is a dismal failure and the only reason that you see any economic upturn with Trump is because he brought in oil drilling, more coal, and took off regulations. That's not the way you fix an economy. <laughs> That's the way you kill a planet. But under this numbskull in the White House, he's going to try and tell us that he's going to bring the economy back bring it back. He's the one that crashed it. He could have kept Obama's thing going and going and going with the regulations on. During Obama, he was putting on regulations, not taking off, and he still got the economy to go up. And that's with the outflow of jobs to other countries because of cheaper labor. See, that's where you need to go, is you need to standardize the world's labor and wages so that everybody really does have a equal playing field. Take all of the sanctions off around the world and start to work with the rest of the world. But that's just me having a nightmare. Or is that a dream? These days you can never tell. 
But it's always good to see what the truth is versus what the BS is. Now I know the BS pile is rather huge. It's, it's way up here where the truth pile is just the tiniest little blip over here. This pile here never gets used by the orange man. I appreciate all the ups, downs, new subscribers, and until next time. Hey, by the way, today I did find toilet paper just in time.